Hey guys, welcome back. Right, okay, so here we go. This is Nintendo NES collection number 14. And this is another one in that box from the previous video that I got from a good mate, Alex, Bluetonic78. As I said previously, if you don't know Alex, please go and check out the description down below this video. There's a link down there for his channel. Absolutely fantastic guy with a fantastic channel. Definitely somebody you should be watching if you're not already. Go and check him out, guys. Right, okay, so this one. Um, basically, you saw me pick up Batman Returns in the last video. And I mentioned that I picked up a second game as well that Alex got for me. Now this one, the seller was quite happy to send it outside the US, no problem at all. And it's an interesting one. What happened was, I saw the, ad, the uh, auction on American eBay. And the auction just had a stock photograph of the front cover of the box. I went into the auction description, it didn't have any details about the game. Nothing at all. All it had was like... Uh, their shipping policies, their money back guarantees and returns policies and all the usual stuff. It didn't say anything about what the game was like, if it was just a car, if it was a box copy, what the condition was or anything like that. And I thought, well, that's a bit weird. So I emailed them and asked them, you know, for a bit more detail and if they got any photographs. I totally forgot I'd done that. And about a week later I got an email and it was like, oh, yep, sorry about that. The game isn't actually in our store at the moment. It's in a different store in a different state. We're waiting for it to be sent to us. Uh, when it comes in, we'll take some photographs. And at that point, I was like, oh shit, I forgot I'd asked that. <laughs> so I, you know, totally gone out of my head. So I went, okay, I wrote back. I went, yep, fine, no problem at all. Thought nothing of it. A couple of days later, I get an email come through from eBay with a load of photographs on it. I looked at the photographs and I was like, holy shit, that is a really good condition and a really good price. So I need to jump on this. Now, unfortunately, when I looked at it, because they were using the global shipping program, you have to pay your tax up front which meant that it was going to be £25 for the game, which is excellent, and then it was another, I believe, $15, $16 on top for shipping, which is about 9 10 quid. Then you've got your tax on top, which ends up being about another 10 quid. So, you know, you're getting like just over 40 quid, which is a lot of money, you know, because in the game's only £25. And I really wanted it, and I was like determined to get it, but I thought, I can't let this go. But I can't afford to really pay all that money out. It's too much. So I thought, you know what? I'll quickly drop Alex a message. So I got on Twitter. I sent Alex a DM. I said, have you sent Batman out? And he went, no, I haven't had a chance to post it yet. And then he called me the other day. I was like, brilliant. So I asked Alex kindly if he'd go and buy this game for me. And he said the name of the game there. Jeez. And that way, obviously, it saves me on the extra shipping costs. And I can get the game just for the £25. So Alex, being the top man that he is, he went and bought the game for me. Put it in the same package with Batman. Saved me a ton of cash, so thank you very much, Alex. I really, really appreciate you doing that, mate. You saved me, saved the day for me there, mate. So, right, let's see what it is, guys, because this is a really interesting one. This is a, a Dave special. This is a Retro Dave recommendation. If you know Retro Dave and you know his Nintendo love, and you know there was one game that Dave basically praises the hell out of, and it is the game above all games on the NES, the NES, the Nintendo, whatever you want to call it that Dave absolutely adores and just bangs on relentlessly about how good this game is and how everybody should play it. And I would like to say as well, I keep forgetting to mention, there's a link down there for Dave as well, because if, if anyone doesn't know Retro Dave, which is highly unlikely, if you don't know Retro Dave Nintendo, go and check his channel out as well. Both Alex and Dave are linked down below. Excellent channels. So yeah, so I had to get this when I saw it, because I, I've checked some gameplay and it looks interesting, and I know Dave's got real good taste so it's all I knew this is Dave I hope this is a good game <laughs> now I'm sure it will but all right let's get it open the good thing the seller sent it in a box protector as well which is amazing at the time I can't believe it I saw that it's only a flimsy box protector so it probably comes from that guy in America called Keeper Minter and it's not a sentinel case but nonetheless it's in a bloody protector so I can't argue with that at all and yep yeah, that is pretty pristine Holy shit. Um, yeah, I can't. I cannot argue with that condition at all. That is... <coughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Well, I'll take it out of the box protector and show you what i got. I am seriously chuffed with this. Uh, yeah, that is... Yeah, spot on. You cannot argue with the condition of that at all. Yeah, there's a little, some minor shelf wear, and I mean minor, but we'll go with it. Alright guys, so number 14 in my NES collection is 
Gremlins 2, the new batch. And I'm sure most people would have guessed that anyway. <laughs> so there you go. Get some light on it. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. You can't argue with the condition at all. You know, it has got some creasing there. I don't know if you're going to see that in the top flap. It's right across the centre. But that is honestly being very picky indeed. Because <laughs> this game is absolutely pristine. There you go. So it just goes to show, if you see a stock photo, don't be put off, contact the seller, because you just never know. There's the back. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Try and get some light on it. There we go. That is absolutely spot on. That's a definite 9 out of 10, that is. I mean, absolutely pristine. Right. So I'm really excited. I mean, that cover's fantastic. Or what as well, by the way. Great. I'm really interested to see this one, see what it's like. I say because Dave absolutely raves about this game. I've got a foam in the bottom. <coughs> Still dying, by the way. Right, okay. Oh, lovely. Nice colour manual. Manual's in excellent condition. There you go. Nice and flat. Absolutely superb. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with that at all. Absolutely cracking manual, look at that. That's how you do it right way. Excellent. Right, dust protector. Really, really nice label. That is, I can't actually see any scratches on that. It's absolutely pristine. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. So if you see the light there, look at that. That's what you call a label. And then the, the back end. The end label. Pin pawnage. Absolutely spot on. A bit of the square action as well, why not? That's weird, I can't get that straight. <laughs> there you go, so yeah, oh, well tough to get this. So there you go, guys. Gremlins 2, the new batch. I mean, look at that. That condition is absolutely spot on. I'm really happy with that. I'm proper chuffed. So, yeah, that's number 14. So, the collection is starting to grow. This is excellent. So, maybe one day it'll look like that. That'd be really cool. <laughs> okay, guys. Right, let's go check out some gameplay of Gremlins 2, the new batch. Right, guys. So, here we go. This is Gremlins 2, the new batch. So, first ever attempt at playing this, so hopefully this is going to go smoothly. I've got no idea what to expect, I don't know what the game's about. But Retro Dave loves this game, so I'm intrigued to see it's like, what a nice cutscene start. Oh, Gizmo. Look at that, that's brilliant, that is. Hey, thumbs up. <laughs> Stage 1-1. One, one. So I've got no idea what to do on this game. Right, so I can fire. I can jump Gizmo, it looks wicked, doesn't it? Oh, check that soundtrack out. That's wicked, aren't I? Oh, shit, good start. Can I shoot them bloody things off? Yeah, you can. A bit rapid, isn't it? Oh, I think this one's going to take some concentration. What the hell? You can't kill them, that's alright. That music is fantastic. What a great soundtrack. Oh, you can't go diagonal. Not so easy though. Right, okay. Just listen to that music a minute. That is fantastic. That's going to sound so good for my stereo. Right, okay, so we've got some platforming coming up. Oh shit, nearly fell off, well done. Good start. Can I go up in the middle of them? Probably not, no. <laughs> I'm not sure how you know where you're supposed to go here. Oh, right well, there. Alright, get off here. So that's going to take a bit of getting used to the aiming on the weapon. I love that drum beat. That's brilliant, that is. It's off. So I'm 
Save me, I've got to find an exit or something by the look of it. Oh, I've got Great, but I can't actually shoot anything while I'm on the pogo stick, so what's that about? There must be a purpose in doing that. <laughs> shit. Man, they take a hammer in there, though. So basically, I'm looking at the jump, you got to watch that shadow, I think, to see where you're going to land. So where do we go here? Oh, is that in the stage? Oh, nice. Far so good. Love that music. Come here, little fat bastard. <laughs> I can't get the little shit. I want to jump over there and get killed. Ah, nice. So, where do I go? I can't drop down the hole, so. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I like I'm getting it. I don't think I'm about to get that, that's a bit of luck. I love that music, that music is fantastic. It's a proper cool little game, this one. Oh, you bastard. Ah, oh, Gizmo got twatted. Got it. Password as well, nice. Always handy to have a password on the game. Oh shit. Right, play it safe now. Hopefully. Yeah, the diagonal is not that easy to pull off. Ah, get off me, you git. Well, if I actually run out of weapons or not, that look like I do. You bastard. Gotcha. Oh, hello. Disintegration mode, cool. I will improve, it just takes a lot of practice, that's all. That's it, come on to me first. Save me jumping over and getting killed. That bat's trying to be a sneaky bastard. Whoa, what the hell was that funky jumping? This is really cool, I like this. Definitely see why Dave likes it so much. This mode looks wicked, they've done a great job on that. Right, where are we going? Right. I don't know what this pogo is about, though. There must be a purpose in having that. I'm sure Dave will tell me when he sees this gameplay what it's for. Oh, don't get too close. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, get off. Come on, Gizmo, one. They're too bloody erratic, I can't hit them. Right, there we go. The bats aren't too bad, but the spiders are pants. There's a door there. So without, if that takes you anywhere. Ah, it's a shot. Falcon Gizmo, what item would you like? Uh, I don't know, probably. To get the item you want, press A button, which you can't see because of the bleeding light. Right, I think that's that one. I don't know what each of these things do. I'll have a Gizmo. 150. Yeah, got it. Cheers, mate. Thanks. I don't know if that's a life or what it is, but 
I'll just pick it into apples. Oh. Switchy platform it. This is a proper sweet little game, I do like this. No, I knew that was never gonna work. Trying to jump and shoot it in mid air. That's just been too cocky. Oh Jesus, kicking my ass. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat in there. Hang on. Breathe and gain, gain some control, son. Controls really well, actually. It's just a diagonal is a bit off. I find that a little difficult to aim with. Nice. But I'll just probably call me practice, I think. Mean. Don't get them wet. Oh shit, Gizmo's having a fit. Brilliant cutscenes, some of the best I've seen on this so far. Really quite impressive actually. You can see a real love for the, the actual film as well here, the way the game's been put together. A bit darker now, isn't it? What's that? Whoa! Got like a flame weapon. Oh, is that that staff I just picked up? Nice. What's that? Oh shit! He kills me. It's a bomb. I won't get that in there because that looks a bit dodgy. Actually, you can blow it up in advance, that's cool. <coughs> right, dead end. Nearly <laughs> jumped a bit too early there. I don't think that's going to work, is it? I know I jumped too early, shit. Paranoia sat in there. Alright. Let me go. Nah, shit. That's a bit unfair, I can't get that one. I don't get, there must be a purpose in that bloody pogo stick, I just don't know what it is. Oh, I'll give it another try. Let me know below if you know what the pogo is for, I'm sure it has a real good purpose. Oh, shit, getting chased. Ah, oh, did it? Excellent. No, you can't, you can't even press the jump button to bounce higher, which I thought would be really helpful at that point. But, it's not going to let me do it, is it? Shit, it's a spider. I'm not going anywhere until I kill them. Oh shit. Handy having that weapon though. Oh you bastard, the bloody rat come out of nowhere. Oh Jesus, what are you doing you dick? Oh, them rats are a little right pain in the arse, isn't it? No, I don't want that bloody pogo stick, it serves no purpose. At least you can hit the baddies from the other side, that's why I do those. So if you're risking your life. I knew that wasn't going to work. That's a precision jump, that is, Jesus. Alright guys, well, I think we'll leave it there. But I really like this, it's cool. Uh, definitely going to need to sink some time into it to get better at it, but really good game. So it was Gremlins 2, the new batch. 
thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, if you want to watch any more videos from me, just hit the subscribe. That'll keep you up to date with all my new videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.